Good morning, Tina O here from Tina O Life. It is a monster Monday. <laughs> it's been a while since I brought you a monster Monday. I don't think I've had many monster Mondays in a while, the ones that feel like monster Monday. Today I do. In fact, I'm going to say bad. Today <laughs> was a monster Monday in the bad magnitude. Sorry, I'm walking the pup. So I have this thought for you today. And listen, this is how Monster Monday it is. I have my pajamas on. I have my pajamas on, my toque, and like, you know, shoes that are not pajama shoes or running shoes. I'm only, they're just these cute little ballet slippers. Like, you know, I'm a, I'm a hot mess in this Monster Monday day. So the conversation I want to have with you today, if you're willing, is this conversation of all stories matter and yet no story defines you except maybe your core story but that's a whole other conversation <laughs> all stories matter so in my own experience of this which of course is why I'm talking about it I speak that which I live is, um, you know, in this December, I'm in, I'm a Christmas baby. Like my birthday's Christmas day. I am a Christmas gong show. I love Christmas. I am one of those crazy Christmas ladies. Like, you know how there's such thing as crazy cat ladies? I'm a crazy Christmas lady. You know who you are if you are one. Your decorations go up, you know, November 25th. I have to like hold myself back. The village goes up November 25th. The lights go up December 1st. The tree goes up somewhere around the 15th. See, I even know when, right? The Christmas dishes come out December 1st. I'm a crazy Christmas lady, what can I say? Now I don't put antlers on my car and I don't put antlers on my dog, but I still think I fit under the crazy Christmas lady category. So Christmas is a big deal for me. Christmas is a time of joy, of connection, of expression. I am built for Christmas. There's a thread, um, uh, I've, I've, there's a number of threads out there right now on social media about what are you doing for Christmas? How are you adjusting that story so that it feels meaningful for you? And I'm noticing how many people, uh, and again, not good, not bad, no judgment here, not right, not wrong, just noticing that some people's story of Christmas, of the bigness of Christmas, is feels inauthentic to them. It's not a true story for them. But it is for me, for this crazy Christmas lady. Christmas is for me, this holiday of, as my wonderful friend, social media genius, Deidre from Ampersand Media says, Christmas is muchness. That's her story, by the way, muchness. She's all about muchness. Muchness, allness, okay, Muttley, okay, wants to go. <clears throat> so Christmas is that for me. And in that muchness, in that allness, in that expression, this particular Christmas, there's a lot of change going on for me. A lot of change. And to connect the dots to the wonderful and brilliant Tara Cafell, who does the best grief work I have ever encountered, and I know she's even just beginning this work, like really tickling out the beginning stages of her work, but she is damn good. That in my allness of this Christmas expression story, there is grief for me this year. With change, there is grief. There is everyday grief. There is big grief. There is, you know, turn the page one word grief. There is chapter grief. There is story grief. And as Tara Cafell beautifully says, that grief comes when grief wants to. And at some point, we can say to grief, okay, grief, take a seat at the table. <laughs> it's not your turn right now. But in these beginning stages of grief, they just come. They just come, uninvited. The door opens, boom, there they are. They're sitting under the damn Christmas tree with you and you didn't invite them into the house. So this is where I jump off. This is the jumping off point. This is the all stories matter. And they don't identify us. I think the shame that we carry, I'll speak for me, 
the shame that I can carry when I'm in a hard place, a bad place, <laughs> a needy place. Ooh, needy, trigger word for me. A needy place. We can hold back, I can hold back from those places because I don't want to self-identify as that story. Because I'm afraid to step fully into them because I might become them. Even though, like, I work in story. This is what I do for a living. I handhold people through the layers of their story. The layers of their story. I help them communicate their story. The layers of their story. And yet here I am, in my own version of it, afraid. How human. <laughs> afraid to own some of my own stories because I might become them. I know we are not our stories. <laughs> and yet we are made up of all of our stories. So my invitation to you today, if you choose, is to let the all of your story in this holiday season, to let the all, be it bad, be it sad, be it exuberant, be it the crazy Christmas lady who falls in love with Christmas lights. Be it the silly, naive, ooh, there's a word we don't throw around anymore. We're not allowed to be naive. Innocent story of Christmas, of birth, of fresh, of new. Be it the curmudgeon. We all have one of those in our life. Might be you, I don't know. Be it the curmudgeon of Christmas, that all stories are welcome. They're all gifts under the tree. And we are not the gifts. <laughs> We're not each individual story. We are all of them. And in the allness whew, is where we can step back and look at it and go right. I'm free because I am all of this. All of it. What does that bring up for you? What stories do you tell yourself? Do you notice this thing called life, this thing called Christmas, this thing called December? I'm Tina O oh from Tina O oh Life and my invitation to you today on Monster Monday when I really, it was like hard to get out of bed this morning. It was like, honestly, I was laying there like this with my hands over my eyes going, oh, and not because I have a big list. Just have a bit of an emotional hangover today. You know what I mean? Like a bit of an emotional, oh, that was a hard day yesterday. In your allness, what shows up for you today? And what's beautiful about your humanity and your life in that? I'm Tina O from Tina O Life. Thanks for listening. And uh, let me know your thoughts. I'm always listening for you. Ciao, everybody. Have a great day.